And the people like, what the hell is that? The feet and over crap, Audi in the name Just remember that, and everyone is staring And everyone to know, is it really good enough To steal the others' show? Is it really good enough to steal the others' show? Hi and welcome to a new episode of Carmania with the Volkswagen Artian. But where does that name come from? Well, it's a mixture between the words art, like the art, and Ian, which is the new premium and luxury name coming from Volkswagen. But how much luxury does that car really offer? What about the competitors? Who are the competitors? So there is a lot to be found out about this car. And now we're going to get it started with the looks. It's not really surprising that many think it's the new Phaeton. It's a white shark mouth that gives optical size to the Artian. A mixture between aggressive and luxurious. Dual full LED headlights with selective beam, GPS supported, so that means the car knows when a curve comes and illuminates it before you drive it. This is the R-Line package with black painted parts. 20 inch rims on the Volkswagen? Why not? Bear in mind, this car is still a class lower than the Phaeton. The roof line shows that. It drops like the competitors' Audi A5 Sportback and BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. LED backlights with the usual beautiful design that Volkswagen has at the moment. And even here, like with the Golf, the Volkswagen logo where the rear view camera is hiding behind. And the top diesel and petrol Artian get a spoiler lip on the boot lid. And this is the front camera as you have the option for an area view. Area view is the same like surround view. That makes parking your car easier. One of the highlights is definitely the boot load of the Artian 563 litres. Take a look at this. And now tell me who else offers that? A BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe? No, 480 litres. That's quite a difference of 83 litres. Well done, Volkswagen. So I'd say, mission accomplished with the exterior looks, but how is it from the inside? Let's quickly go through the interior, and I say quickly because we already know that system, these new things that Volkswagen offers ever since 2017, like in the Volkswagen Golf 7 facelift that I have already reviewed and really explained everything in depth about the 9.2 inch Discover Pro Nav, as well as uh, the, uh, the digital dashboard that we have with the digital instruments. If you'd like to see more about that, then click on top right now and get forwarded to the video of the Golf 7 facelift where I'm explaining everything about the possibilities, the setting possibilities with that digital dashboard and of course even the gesture controlled nav. Now we talk about uh, the things where the RTN is different to the Golf because mainly it's really the same with the air conditioned unit, that, this and even the gear shifting part. It's okay but it's far away from being a feet and maybe where you have leather and wood and all that stuff we have a head-up display rising out of the dash here and um, this is again something where I say okay they could have done it a bit more elegant way just like you know it from BMW Mercedes and Audi where it's integrated and the infos get projected onto the front window and not on the glass panel like here no doubt it is as sharp as in the other competitors but it looks like something from the aftermarket in my eyes so that's why I think they could have integrated um, the head-up display in the dash without that glass panel raising out of the dash. But okay, uh, another thing where the RTN is different to the Golf is that little clock here that you can see. Again, something could have done it a bit more elegant with an IWC clock, just like Porsche offers it, or anything else. But it's a really simple clock, but it's nice to have it. And these trims are different to the Golf, uh, kept in uh, an aluminium, just like here in the doors. And we've got some LED lights 
lights coming in, in the color blue from here, continuing here and even here um, that you can see especially at night or when you drive through a tunnel as well as that nice big ambi light panel that lights up as soon as um, as soon as you're driving in uh, at night or in darkness or maybe through a tunnel and you can see that and that gives you some kind of elegant feeling like you expected in the Artian. that's something nice and except that there is nothing really so diverse to the Golf and another thing differing to the Golf is of course the space I have lots of headroom I'm six uh, foot two inches and I could be even taller for easily fitting in that car because you've got a hollow here and um, even the lateral space is definitely given and that amazing football field of a boot with 563 liters that you could already see but now the question is how is it to sit behind the driver on the back seats take care of your head when getting in the car because of the coupe uh, form of the roof but anything else I mean take a look at that knee room where else do you get that in an Audi A8 maybe but not in the Fora BMW for example and um, that's really a huge space uh, I don't have plenty of headroom there I have to be honest but that's because of the coupe form of the roof that drops exactly here um, so you shouldn't be really taller than me but that seat got set to my size and I'm sitting behind myself and I have that much knee room so a fist easily one and a half fists fit in between so between my knees and the seats that knee room makes it the really perfect family car a lot better than any other car from that class I promise you the Artian offers a really colorful palette of views starting with the smoothness this is one of the points that I have not expected a four-cylinder to be that smooth you're sliding it's it's like floating as soon as you drive it a relaxed way so you can hear that you actually can't hear anything because it's that smooth you have no engine noises you have no wind noises even if you're driving higher constant speeds um, that shows that the car is really well insulated and you don't hear these wind noises that might be a bit bothering after a few hundred kilometers of driving so it's calm and powerful because it's even surprisingly punchy so the 280 horsepower version with the R-Line package that we have accelerates in 5.6 seconds from 0 to 100 to 62 miles an hour and that's approximately a half of a second faster than the Golf GTI performances and that's a word for a car of that size and that weight thanks to the all-wheel drive of course that gives a lot better traction for accelerating from off the line but and here comes the other side of the coin if you doing some hard acceleration so giving full throttle or just doing a kick down then the car seems to be how to say it out of puff so it's a bit breathless at the higher revs and this is the point where you can hear that it's a four-cylinder and you can feel that it's a four-cylinder because it's a bit uh, stained and just out of puff so this is something that you're never gonna replace at a four-cylinder it's like the power of 280 horsepower and 350 Newton meters have to fight against the weight of 1.7 tons and this is the point where I have to ask why Volkswagen hasn't decided to take the more powerful version of that engine that we know from the Golf 7R with 310 or 300 horsepower we're at 13.7 liters per hundred kilometers okay that's a lot more now than usually because I've just started to drive now and I'm driving city traffic but mostly in the city traffic it's about 12 liters per hundred kilometers and that's quite a lot for a four-cylinder you have to know that a 440i six-cylinder BMW doesn't really consume that much more maybe half a liter liter but that's not really the difference that explains to me that the downsizing is so necessary I think a six-cylinder just at least as an option should be there for the Artian because like that everything finishes with a four-cylinder and 280 horsepower 
But I want to protect the Volkswagen Artien because of many aspects and I have a solution for that problem with a four-cylinder, with a stained four-cylinder in that case, uh, a salvation. Um, but I'm going to tell you that at the end of this video. But first, another important aspect uh, next to the performance of the car are the brakes. So they're reliable independently which speed you drive, fast or slow. It's not shaky, it's not vibrating. Uh, it's an easy dozing. If you have the necessity of uh, hitting the brakes, uh, then you always have a reliable partner. So you can have fun with that 280 horsepower version of the Artian. Uh, especially with with the curves and that stuff but if you hit the accelerator pedal and give throttle can you hear that so it sounds a bit like a GTI and in a GTI that might be okay but I expect a car being that majestic from 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 the exterior looks and from the size I expect it to be a bit more calm smoother more confident uh, when accelerating and not giving you that kind of hot hatch GTI feeling. Two sentences about the assist systems. Um, there I have to say that it's not so different to the Golf. We have a lane assist, we have the active cruise control, city emergency braking, the blind spot warning that you can see maybe from that, this camera hopefully. Um, it warns you when someone's driving in a blind spot and I think it's nice that it's not a little symbol or lamp uh, or light in, in the mirror, it's in the mirror cover and like that you can see it a lot easier and it's really an intensive light so you can't really miss someone driving in a blind spot. And the automatic parking pilot. These are the options available and if you want to see more about that uh, just click uh, on top right now here in the video and get forwarded to my test of the Golf 7 facelift which has exactly the same assist systems and there I'm going more in depth of these functions showing on the highway how it works with the active cruise control and there you can see in the description box where you can find the assist systems and jump to that part of the video. The engines! Uh, as you know, 280 horsepower, 2 litre 4 cylinder in that case. We have 5 available versions. 2 petrol versions, this and 190 horsepower version and 3 diesels. The 3 diesels have 150, 190 and 240 horsepower. Everything from the offer right now is 2 litre 4 cylinder. I don't know what's coming in the future but I'm missing the 6 cylinder as I have already mentioned. Take the all wheel drive and the automatic dual clutch DSG automatic transmission that you get as a standard in uh, the top versions like the top diesel and the top petrol version. Everything starts at uh, 37,000 euros and getting up to, up to 52,000 euros with the diesel and in between is maybe this version with 280 horsepower starting at 49,000 euros. And here comes now the solution for the problem with the Overrev 280 horsepower version. It's the diesel, ladies and gentlemen. I recommend you to buy the diesel. Why? It has 150 newton meters more torque, so 500 newton meters, which is quite an impressive data. And as we know, a diesel, a diesel is a lot more, just it's a lot smoother. It has a lot better behavior, and the diesel gives you a lot better feeling in my eyes. That's for sure. And you have less fuel consumption I think a lot less fuel consumption as you can't drive this car with less than 10 litres in a city traffic about seven and a half on a highway driving constant speeds but the diesel is a lot better in that case and it has the at blue technology the new Euro 6 CO2 emission standard There's no doubt the Volkswagen Artian has its weaknesses but which car doesn't mainly it's the bit stained engine at higher speeds and loud engine but for this I already told you a solution just to get yourself the 240 horsepower diesel version but the positive aspects are that much shining that they might help you get over the negative ones just like that stunning design take a look at that roof line and everything the 20 inch rims and of course even the space that this car offers. Yes, it's a bit too expensive, especially the diesel, but bear in mind if you'd like to have another car from another car maker offering that much space, you have to, you have to pay a lot more money. And yes, it looks a bit too much like the Golf 7 facelift from the interior looks, but that's not negative. 
it's just they could have done it a bit more individual because the only thing that where they differ now is the LED MB light where you can choose between three different colors and that clock in the center part of the dash and of course even the space. So if you have a family or if you're looking for a car with lots of space then the Artian is definitely the perfect car for you and this is what I say as a BMW guy I'd prefer this car over any other German competitor because of that space sometimes uh, many factors are more important with the time if you get older than the engine of course the V6 would be nice but the name Artian definitely fulfills the expectations at least the first part of the name Art because it's truly an artwork of design please leave me some thumbs up if you like the video forward it to everyone that you know and let me know what you think about the Artian in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe I'm Chris